Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to add captions, add text in the video, and how to add transitions to your Final Cut Pro edited videos. Okay, so opening up Final Cut, if you didn't watch the first one in the series where I showed how to import the videos, the link's in the caption below. So let's just create a new project to show you how we're going to do this. I showed you how to what to create and what to check in the last one. And then let's grab in this cute little kitten file. We'll drag it into our timeline. And then this guy with the crazy hair. And then, let's see, one more. And then just some walking in the subway. Okay, so I've got the scrubbing on. So if I run along there, it actually is doing it live for me. I've got my computer muted though, so we don't get interrupted by beeping. Really simple, if you want to add a transition, you click on this little icon here, this is a transitions, and then there's a whole bunch of different ones. If you hover or click on it, it will show you the actual transition of how it looks, okay? We're just gonna go, the one I use most is just a simple cross dissolve. So let's see how these two clips run together at the moment. It's just one ends, bunk, and the next one starts. So with cross dissolve, you can just drop that on the join of the two files and it does a little blur. So you just really, really simple. And it's pretty easy to tell what they're going to do based on the, the kind of image they show you here. So let's look at leaves, one I have never and probably would never use. Ooh, tropical, easy, right? Or you can just click on the transition and delete it. And then let's try lens flare. Okay, so easy enough, right? Another great thing is adding text. Whether you've got viewers who may not uh, speak the language and you wanna give some, or you just wanna give some extra information, or you wanna give a title or pop a link on screen or something. If you just click on the T, the universal text symbol, there's a whole bunch of different options on how it's going to look here. So and it, a simple one is custom. So let's click on custom and drag it. Say we want it to run from partway through this clip and then through onto the next one. So you just drag where you want it to end, then click on the file. The actual, this is the, this is the text now, this little box and click the I button that takes you to where you can actually enter the text. So make sure you're up here on the text tab and then just type in, uh, this guy has crazy hair. Okay, now if you want to make it bigger, just drag up the size or you can click in the number and type in a number or just use your arrow keys to go up and down. You can change the font, all the different fonts you have on your computer uh, again, with alignment, you can play with all of that kind of thing. Um, baseline, you can just shift it up and down a little bit, but if you wanna move it down to the bottom of the page, you can just put some returns in there. And then say, I want it sitting right on the bottom, so let's move it down, 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 and there you go. Now, if you want to have it stand out a little bit more, if you click on face, you can choose the color and the opacity. If you don't want it to be 100% opacity, you could say, I want it to be that blue color, but I only want it to be 60% opacity, close enough. So you can see now we can see through it a little bit. And then if you wanna emphasize it more in a different way, you can go to outline and choose, okay, and I want it to have a bright red outline. You can just see it coming up there a little bit, but if you make the width bigger, there. Now you've got a nice big red and blue. This guy has crazy hair. And it will naturally, all of the different video uh, title options uh, come with a different way that they fade in and out. So that one just is on, then it's off. If you go down to one that I often use on my channel, slide in. So you pop that one in. And then again, once you click on it, the, this will come up. Then one I often do is put my web address in. Oh, but I'll use the correct web address. Okay, and then I know for, for that to fit for me, it's 78. And I like to move the baseline down just a couple of points so it's more centered in the red. Now with this one, because as it says, it's sliding, when it, the cursor hits it, it starts to slide in. 
and then by the time it gets to the end, it will be fully gone. So there's that little transition period. So you, if you want it to be on screen for a particular time, you need to set those markers a little bit wider. So that's really simple. You know, if you don't know where the buttons are or how you do it, it may seem a little bit confusing, but all you have to do is go to it and then drag and drop it in. So you can even put a soft fade to start your video and then maybe have it finish on a bit of a black hole. Yeah, fairly easy, I think. Um, if you have any specific requests for this series on editing for Final Cut Pro, fire away, I'm happy to answer them. Um, next up, I'll do an output video on how I compress files to be able to upload them for YouTube. Thanks, see you soon.